What is up everybody, yo, welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, today I'm going to be sharing you guys what is the Minecraft feature. Now, these are 100% true and it actually is coming in a Minecraft future. Now you might be wondering, what do you mean you know the Minecraft future? What's going to be happening in a Minecraft future? Well, we're, I'm just going by leaks, speculations, what's coming in the next minor update for Bedrock Edition. No, I do not know what the next major update is or anything. This is what's happening in Minecraft feature. Would either it's coming in the next minor update for Minecraft Bedrock Edition or the next update for it. When either it's major or minor. Um, um, features that's going to be coming later in, in the year or updates or so. So this is either the next update for Bedrock Edition or the future of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, we do have one feature or a couple of features that are going to be both Bedrock and Java um, that will be coming very soon in the next update, minor update. Alright, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing is, number one, shaders. That's right, shaders is finally coming to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. That means we're going to get some glow ores, glowing ores, um, mobs, torches, and more. We're going to get some reflections of blocks and items. Also, realistic shadows, waters, and, and light um, lighting. Um, and also, 3D effect and more. So, that's what's coming in the future of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Number two, we have uh, falling from a high height will no longer take damage when you're in a boat. <coughs> so this is a Java parody coming over to Bedrock. So for those who's doing uh, Minecraft manhunts like Dream or um, you just want to do an MLG but let's just say in the nether. You can't really MLG water. But now when you're doing off in high height now, you will no longer take damage when you're in a boat. So yes, yes, that's cool. That's cool. Number three, more sounds has been updated. So each minor update, each beta and preview, <coughs> Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and all that keeps adding more sounds and updated sounds. Um, um, new new features or old features of the sounds. So that's going to be really cool. Number four that's coming to Minecraft Bedrock Edition is pick and place water much faster when MLG water. More consistent. So I don't know about this. I don't know if, if, if it affected me or whatever. But apparently I guess it's kind of broken or whatnot. So yes, now you will be able to MLG water Pick and place water more consistently on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. <clears throat> then number five, we have new play screen UI or new screen play, which means that when you are in the main menu, which is play game settings or marketplace, right on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, or that's at least on the Switch and maybe some other platforms on Bedrock. Well, you go to play game, right? Either you're going to create a world or you're just going to go to a server or something, right? So you play play game and then you can, it says, create new world um, or, you can, or you can load in your existing worlds. You go to real um, servers. Well, your already existing worlds and the creating new world um, real um section in this uh, featured server section is all going to be updated with new UI so it's going to be much nicer and be updated and much better so that's cool number six is Minecraft editor Minecraft editor has been recently added into Minecraft Bedrock Edition a couple months now a couple months ago um, but this is only for PC only um, we do not know if it's going to be coming to other platforms specifically for 
Android, PlayStation, Xbox, possibly Switch, um, and other Bedrock platforms. Number seven, I should have added this in, in the both of Bedrock and Java because this is also going to be happening, is more, number seven, more diamonds in the Deep Cave. So in the next minor update, both Bedrock and Java is going to, you're going to see more and more in Frequently more diamonds in the deeper caves so more diamonds than usual because of what I will be talking about next or in a second number eight Apparently in the minecraft bedrock condition in the marketplace Players can now send one-on-one -on -one message to marketplace creators so they can send their feedback or if they have actually need to write words or whatever and they can't really do it for example on a switch or maybe PlayStation, like console edition, um, well then you can write your message one-on-one -on -one to give feedback, what do you think of it, blah, 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 etc. So that's I think, is really cool. Now, another thing. The both versions, Bedrock and Java, is also getting a new village update, or villager update. It's not technically revamping the villager structures houses type deal it's revamping and updating the villagers itself meaning um the armor uh villager and other places that also means that you can no longer like get powerful items now only certain items in vi that you can trade with and buy from villagers are now specific in different biomes. For example, if you know there's mending from a villager that you can trade. Well, you can't physically just um, delete their job or remove their job and then reactivate their job. You know, just a quicker version. No. For example, mending is now only in. Swamp biomes. This is not 100% true. That I, I forgot or I don't remember which loot is which biome. This is just an example. You can actually go check out from other YouTubers um, and other stuff. You can learn more about it on that or just search on Google or whatnot. But this is an example because I don't remember or I forgot. But just an example. You can no longer... AFK until you get the book or item that you possibly want. Only ne certain loot now are now in certain biomes. Which means that if you want a many book, for example, you can, let's just say mending now only is in swamp biome. You're going to have to build or build a village or bring a villager to a swamp, which I don't know how you would do that depending on how far the swamp is according to whatever um you will now have to go to the swamp and get the many book from there let's just say armor um enchanted armor whatnot um you let's now let's say iron armor iron armor is no longer in every biome now for example because i forgot you Let's just say now you can get iron armor plus iron enchanted armor in a desert village. You get the gist of it. So that's what's coming in the both versions of Minecraft. Now we do have a few more. Alright. So now the rest is for Minecraft Bedrock Edition now, also. Number nine, new death screen. The De Mojang developers and the Mojang UI developers and designers are currently or working on a new death screen. So when you die, you're not going to get this like your normal death screen and whatnot. You'll be getting a new look, a new death screen look, better probably and updated so that is what's going to come um, eventually I don't know if it's coming in the next update again either next minor update or in the future number 10 
recipe unlocking. Now, this is definitely coming in the next minor update, which could be today at the time that you're watching this, and it could be already out by now. Um, recipe unlocking. You can unable this or disable. This is another parody feature. Um, the rest are now parody features from Java coming over to Bedrock. So recipe unlocking is that, let's just say, you're getting wood for the first time in a brand new world or something. Well, once you chop down one piece of wood in a brand new world and you unlock or unable recipe unlocking, which if you've been a long time player and a long, an OG and old and long time Minecraft player, you won't probably need this, but also it could be good and useful for certain things. Let's just say you, for your first time, getting the wood in a brand new world. Well, at the top right or top left of your screen, it will say, Oh, you just unlocked wood. Here's all the recipes you can do with wood. So that's also good. Next parody that Java is coming over to Bedrock is recipe search. So let's just say that you don't know how to make something or whatever, but if you search something up, like let's just say um, redstone tor torch, you're not going to be able to f figure out how to craft it or whatever because it's not available. But now with recipe search, you can now search up like T-O-R, which now will resemble redstone torch, regular torch, or anything that resembles T-O-R, T -O -R, but not really. So, there you go. Or maybe you want to do red. So it might come up as redstone or red dye or red stained glass or anything that will pop up there. Now, I do not know if it's coming in the next update, but yeah. And the last one that, I, that I've that i gotten so far, I don't know if there's any more. Um, number 12, block breaking to match Java to match Java. So, 188 blocks is, is going to match Java. So, for example, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is right. Just an example. Let's just say uh, stone, right? Because you have to mine stone, but in reality, if you do not have six touch, you're going to get cobblestone return. But let's just say stone, because that's how you get cobblestone. For example, stone... Let's just say it will take, um, um, eight or nine, uh, block breaking animation or each hit nine, eight or nine, uh, hits on uh, that block. Well, now, now that block has changed to match Java. So instead of eight or nine, it could be now maybe less or maybe longer or shorter so yes that is what's coming in the future of minecraft so no it is not anything regarding um leaks speculations or what i know about the future I actually know the future of minecraft nope these are just leaks speculations what's coming in the next minor update and what we currently know i'm going to only I only know this information from either um, internet sources, articles, YouTubers, um, social media, the Mojang developers themselves, uh, websites, actual accurate information. So there you go. That is what's coming in the um, uh, Minecraft near future or future. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.